All right, so the Virgo partner, okay? So firstly, again, I always say you should look at someone's entire chart. So you can be with a Virgo, but the Virgo has different placements. So Virgo might have a, ca a Cancer moon and a Capricorn rising and other things in their chart that are going to influence how they are in a relationship. And so it's important to look at those as well. Right now, I'm simply talking about just um, the Virgo energy in a relationship. That's going to show itself whether this person's a Venus in Virgo, whether this person's a Sun in Virgo, Moon in Virgo. You're going to see certain aspects of this in the person. So firstly, it's ruled by Mercury. And Mercury deals with communication and words and ideas and things of that nature learning. So one to a Virgo partner, their communication is going to be very, very important. You're going to want to make sure that you are really good with communication. Um, anything that shows that you're not communicating or you're not, you know, um, sharing information that they need or you're not communicative enough can be an issue for a Virgo. Now, especially if you're, you have, let's say a crush on a Virgo. Like if you're trying to get to know a Virgo person and you fall short of expectations, if you fall off and stop communicating with them or something like that, that can become an issue because they're going to look at it like, well, you're not interested in me. Virgos need trust in a relationship. And I think you could say everybody does, but some people are more open. Like, okay, let me try this. Let me see how this works out. Okay, I met this new person. This is great. Virgos kind of have to, they're a little skeptical about love and skeptical because there's, you know, in some aspects, there's a lot of self-confidence um, issues sometimes that can come into play. Sometimes Virgos are just overly worrisome and anxious about things. Um, they overthink a lot of different things. And so for Virgo, it might take a lot of experiences with you. It might take you being consistent for them to finally say, okay, let me see how this person is. All right, let me give them a chance, especially the beginning of a relationship. Um, also just in a relationship in general, even if you're in a long-term relationship with a Virgo or partnership, marriage, whatever, like you're going to see that communication is really important to them. Don't tell them things last minute. That does not work for a Virgo. Virgo likes to know what's up ahead of time. Because remember what I said, it's a lot of anxious, nervous energy. And so if there's a party that your family's planning two days from now, you tell that Virgo a week ahead of time to get them ready. Because honestly, that upsets Virgo's routine and their consistency and analyzing. Like Virgo, a lot of things pop through Virgo's mind they have to figure out. Well, when am I wearing? What time are we leaving? What did, you know, and, and sometimes if you're, you sh they're not really the most spontaneous side. Now, I don't want to say they can't ever be spontaneous because you also have to realize there's other things at play. You can have a Virgo with different placements, right? A Virgo with a fire moon, so maybe sometimes they are impulsive or sometimes they are um, more, you know, um, adventurous. You can have different things like that. Um, but for the most part, you do want to communicate things ahead of time with a Virgo person so they can properly know what to do, how to plan and things like that. Now, as far as affection goes, Virgo, again, um, a lot of them might want to hear from you how, you, how you feel about them. So verbal communication is really important. If you care about them or like certain things about them, they like to hear it. Now, I'm not saying you can't, you know, hugs aren't good and things like that, but that's their language. That's how they, that's their language, right? Virgo is very much about words and pro like analyzing things and so that that kind of matches the energy that they, a lot of them naturally carry um as far as affection goes Virgo is not overly affectionate um especially not in the sense of pda um i think some of them can be more affectionate now behind closed doors or behind you know not in public um but a lot of times like you know virgos are very conscious conscious of what they how they come across um you know sometimes they might if something doesn't look right um, if they don't think something is proper or, or you don't, they don't think something is the way you should do things, sometimes that's how it express itself in a relationship. Um, a lot of times people think, okay, Virgo is, Virgo is not critical to be critical or for ego's sake. It's not an egotistical sign. It's a sign of service. And so also dealing with Mercury energy. So Virgo's job is to analyze things and tell you the best way to go about getting it done. Remember, it's an earth sign. And so it's never about really egotism or anything like that. It's about hey, why don't we do it this way? Because if we do it this way, then that. So sometimes if your energy is more impulsive, if you're more like, hey, we don't need to plan everything out. Let's just do it. That can be a mismatch sometimes um, with that Virgo energy person. Or they might just have to be compromised on both sides on like how to meet each other in the middle. As far as loyalty goes though, I think there's a trade-off. You know, some people might not, might, you can draw the affection out of Virgo, but they have to trust you. 
that's a huge thing. They're very skeptical, right? Um, you, they have to trust you, okay? Um, so that's very important. Pretty loyal. Virgo likes to better things, and that could also sometimes extend to their relationships. And so for the most part, most Virgos are not changing relationships very often or you know those types of things because Virgo likes to work at the same thing over time and see the, the result and you know typically um it being reserved sign anyway typically they're not really out there trying to meet other people um they're very comfortable with what they have and so there's not usually a, a need to like let me go here let me go there let me find this person let me find that person now again you have to look at the whole chart because it's a Virgo with the Aries moon um Venus and Leo Virgo with a Gemini rise, you know, you could get a person who seeks more adventure and that could change some of those different aspects of that. Um, as far as another thing with Virgo and communication is that sometimes like Virgo's a thinker. And so if you say something they don't like, a lot of times some of them won't say confront it right then and there. Some of them might. But what you have to understand is they process everything. And so sometimes you might have a relationship issue where Virgo likes to bring things up that happen. Virgo likes to bring things up that already happened or they want to say, well, you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this. And you're like, whoa, where did all this come from? You didn't say it at the time. Well, because Virgo likes to overanalyze, analyze and overanalyze sometimes, especially in a relationship. And so it's like they're always trying to figure something out, um, you know, and a lot of times Virgos, you know, you you do have to watch your words with a Virgo partner because they're going to remember what you say and they're going to, even if they don't confront it right then and there, some of them will, they're going to eventually confront it. What did you mean by that? You said this. And so if you're a person who's not very tactful or careful with your words, that can be an issue with you and your Virgo partner. And to you, it might not be a big deal. You're like, I just said this. It doesn't matter. But remember, what's important to them is, is what meet, meeting them in the middle. They have, if you're in an argument with a Virgo, okay, understand they've already analyzed everything you're already talking about. They think very fast. Now, Gemini is a very fast thinker because remember, Gemini is air. But Virgos have built up, you. but usually Virgos have thought very much about whatever you're arguing about. Like I said, whatever you're arguing about is typically something Virgos already stored in their mind. They already know what to say just when that moment strikes. And so you have to like, if you're trying to compromise with them, you have to logically make sense with them. Now, I'm not saying you have to give in and say, you're right, you're right. But for them, it's more so about um, you acknowledging what they're saying, right? Because they pride themselves so much in how they think. You can't shut a Virgo down like, you're wrong. What you're saying is wrong. That didn't happen that way. You have to acknowledge part of what the Virgo is saying, okay? Yeah, I see what you're saying because da-da-da. Well, here's what I think. Or you're right about this, but I think this acknowledge what they are thinking and you'll get a lot you'll get a lot farther because what you understand is virgo's mutable energy All right, a lot of people don't understand that like it's a mutable sign so it's really not super stuck in their ways right virgo can adapt very easily to different things depending on what the outcome is if something makes sense they remember they're earthy they're earth signs and so it's about practicality it's about what is logical it's about what is going to produce an outcome and so if something can produce a better outcome if something makes sense you, and typically you can get a virgo to see things from your point of view but shutting down their intelligence that's not going to work you're not going to get anywhere with that okay um so that's where sometimes you'll see that side of virgo that's a little bit more um comes out a little bit more you know demanding or stubborn is when you go you insult their thought process or insult their work ethic because they're like wait i whoa i know what i'm doing i know what i'm talking about so i'm not saying they're always right but i'm saying when you get that conversation with them you have to acknowledge their mind because if you insult that they're wrong you're not thinking right you're not da -da -da, you're, they're already going to shut down okay and because certain signs are very good verbally it almost seems impossible sometimes to win arguments with certain signs like Gemini, Sag, Virgo. Um, you know, they're not about they'll just they'll get you with like their words and the way they say things. And so you do really have to understand that um, when you're trying to resolve the issue with your Virgo partner. Um, but Virgos are really good with making sure things get done. Um, you do have to kind of realize that like time is important to them, super important to Virgo. So if you say you're going to do something, you have to do it. If you don't do it, you have to tell them you're not going to do it. One, they don't like inconsistency. And because there's kind of like that, 
that that idea there of like them wanting to be really effective at getting things done saying like oh never mind i'm not gonna do that um never mind i'm not gonna pay the bill can you pay it tomorrow or never mind um you know we were supposed to clean the whole house i'm not gonna do it today that's not really gonna work for virgo because they've already planned out what they're gonna do for the day like yeah some virgos even if it's not them literally being organized they're organized in their head i'm doing this then i'm doing this then i'm doing that um, and so you do have to understand that to a certain degree. If you're dealing with any Virgo energy person, there's always some kind of order there. There's some kind of organization that's important to the Virgo person. And so with your partner, like you do have to kind of be considerate of those things. Things that wouldn't bother in someone else might bother a Virgo person because they've already planned their day out or they've planned out what they're going to do and they're going to be really mad when you mess that up. Okay. And again, I think what people have to understand, like once you understand the astrology behind something, it makes more sense to you and it's not as, you know, uh, much of a problem or you understand why they're acting the way they do. But for, they're very loyal, can be very dependable. Remember, Virgo likes getting things done and so that's why they're very dependable. They don't like to be perceived as someone who can't get something done or be perceived as someone who doesn't follow through with their word. Remember I said words are very important to them. All right. And so that is um, kind of just it for this um, particular video on Virgo partner. All right. Um, also, make sure to check my playlist. I have some other information about Virgo. I also have two videos up about Virgo, Virgo with a, with a fire moon, Virgo with a water moon. Also, check out my website, www.amethystvirgo.com. Thank you for watching.